So I'm just using this gum out carb cleaner right here, a little lighter, but you don't want to do too much. If you do too much, that's bad. So just a little a few sprays. You see guys really loading this up. You don't need to do that. You just need enough to get it on there. So but anyway, here we go. You hear it sucking back in? That's why you leave the valve stem off. Beat is set. We're good to go here. With the valve stem out, it sucks the pressure because you get a vacuum in there when it explodes, pops it on, and then it sucks the pressure back in. If you have the valve stem in, you gotta hurry and put air in there. So leave the valve stem out, that'll save you a headache. Um, so now that that's done, I got my valve stem, I'll put that back in. And I'll air up the tire, check it, make sure there's no more leaks. So you get your valve stem back in. I got my air, I'm gonna, I'm gonna overfill it right now. I'm gonna put 20 PSI in just to make sure there's no leaks. I'll drop it down and check it again. So finish getting that filled up. It's good, okay. Now we wanna get our soapy water right here that I have. And we wanna spray it around the edge again. Make sure there's no more leaks after cleaning that. I don't expect there will be, but you never know. I just get it so it puddles around there. And uh, so far, so good. No bubbles. Okay, and that's how you do it. That's how you fix a bead that has come off and that's leaking around the rim. Uh, that's how you take it off. That's how you clean it. And that's how you reset the bead. So, hope you learned something. Hopefully it's a little bit better than some of the other ones. Make sure you leave that valve stem out. That's one thing that you don't see very often on YouTube. They, tons of people do the tutorial and then they rush with the compressor to fill it up and you don't need to do that. All you have to do is leave that valve stem out. When the pressure creates a vacuum in there after the explosion of the um, carb cleaner or, or uh, starter fluid, you just leave the valve stem out and it lets it suck back in that air, replace that vacuum or fill up that vacuum that's been created you're good to go. Put the valve stem back in, test the pressure, make sure it's not leaking. If it's not, put it back on the ATV. There you go. That's how you do it.